My feelings right now are like twisted, but I still love my daughter. New at 11, grief and anger from the grandmother of a murdered two-year-old, now claiming a state agency should have known that the boy was in danger with his mom. And tonight, that grandmother going straight after the Department of Children and Families. She insists it could have done something to ultimately save his life. And just in, that agency is responding to her claim. CBS 4's Carrie Codd is live in West Miami-Dade, where the boy's mother is in jail tonight. Carrie. That's right. The mother of this mother who's accused of murdering her child told us that the DCF ignored the family's pleas for help or at least didn't do all that they could to help this child. DCF tonight late sending us a statement saying that's not the case. Yolurkis Ramos is a grieving grandmother. Sunday morning, Miami-Dade police say her daughter, Nathalie, stabbed her own child, two-year-old Alphonse, to death while the boy slept at his grandmother's homestead home. I won't never accept what my daughter did because I think as a mother, you cannot even hurt your kids without, you can never hurt your kids. But I still love my daughter. Yulurki's told us a complicated tale. She says the Department of Children and Families gave Nathalie's brother some sort of custody over Alphonse, but the DCF told the family they had to let Nathalie have unfettered visitation with the boy. DCF told us that anytime she wants to see the baby, she was allowed to come in my house as long as she don't take the baby out. Yulurki says she called DCF on Saturday, the day before the murder, but received no response. She says for some time she warned the agency of the possibility of a grave outcome. I tell you, oh no, your daughter can come to your house any time she wants, even though you're telling those people that you feel that your grandbaby is in danger, okay, because she's not right in her mind. So this is pretty sad. She stabbed the baby to death. In court Monday, Ramos appeared in a suicide vest, facing a charge of second-degree murder. She's also accused of repeatedly stabbing her boyfriend in this homestead home. Jesse Gonzalez is Alphonse's father. He said Ramos left with the boy eight months ago. I just don't know what to do anymore. I, I can't even cry anymore. Yulurkis believes DCF could have done more. That if DCF wouldn't listen to me, wouldn't answer my phone calls, wouldn't answer my messages, okay, my, my grandbaby will be alive right now. DCF released a statement tonight. It reads in part, Alphonse and his mother were involved in the early stages of an open child protective investigation. And when the child was determined to be unsafe in the initial assessment, a plan was initiated and Alphonse was placed with family so his uncle and grandmother could safely care for him during the investigative process. Placement with family minimizes trauma to the child and is done with the belief that family can keep the child safe while we continue to investigate and assess risk. DCF said the department is not a law enforcement agency and does not have legal authority to limit parents' access to their children. Now, Nathalie Ramos is being held in jail without bond. Live at TGK, Kerry Cott, CBS 4 News Tonight.